Listen guys, we're back. Like that intro, huh? I'm gonna take my glasses off. We're talking face to face, you and me. Mano and mano. Hermano. You know, I don't speak Spanish. I speak French, I speak Norwegian, I speak English. You know, I'm multilingual like that. Big brain. What's up, right? Um, I saw this comment on my last video. You know, how to gather life experience when you're on the path, when you're grinding um, to really level up how to gather life experiences. And um, it's a very interesting question because like that, let me adjust this camera, right? Essentially, the answer is just like, just get experiences. But I mean, that question is, you know, of course you have to elaborate on that answer because that's just like saying, hey, I want to do muscle day, I go to the gym. It doesn't really explain anything. But I mean, that's the essence of it. Get experiences, do stuff do different stuff, not degenerate stuff. I mean, you could. I know people who have done degenerate stuff in the past and they can use that. They can talk about that as an experience. I would advise against it though, right? Because it's a slippery slope, don't you think? Why would you do that? When you can for A, well A, but hey, for example, right? You can buy a plane ticket and fly somewhere, right? So you can storyboard that in your head right now. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm young, I'm a young guy, and I'm buying this plane, plane ticket. Imagine how this would look to someone else. So you'd so, so sitting around the campfire with some, you know, chick, for example, huh? And she, you know, maybe she's not interested in you. Maybe she is, right? But what's definitely gonna get you interested is when you tell the story of that time when you were, Having, you had nothing to do. You were 18 or 19 or whatever, right? Whatever age, it doesn't really matter. But let's say you're telling a story of how you booked a ticket, you flew to this country that you had no clue on what to do. Then you, when you got to the airport, you had no clue of what to, where to go. So you ended up at this place because that's the only thing you knew. And then this happened and this happened, right? That's engaging. That's very engaging. And it doesn't have to be like a plane ticket, right? This can be anything. Hey, I took the Siberian railway all the way into Russia. And then I found out, or then I met up with, uh, then I met this old lady and she sold beer and I drank a beer in the mountains of Siberia, right? That's funny. That's interesting to, to, to listen to, right? Because there's a lot of questions that can come from that experience. A lot of them, like how does beer taste in the mountains of Siberia? Very interesting question, right? People can, hey, how was that? What was the scenery like? What are the, uh, the wealth standards in inner Siberia? Whatever. So you, you, we know that, right? We've established that, hey, experiences and what type of experience, right? Because you want the experience that, hey, this can be made a story of, this can be something that people can, uh, that, that's intriguing. There's multiple questions to be asked. How did that happen? What's the process? Why did you decide to do that? And you can put that into, hey, what am I, what is my goal right now? Okay, let's say, let's try to see, trying to get swole, right? You're trying to get swole, you have everything sorted. Um, and instead of going to the gym, right? Because let's say you want to combine this. This is all about combining this experiences with the level up. So let's say you want to combine this. You can do exactly what I just told you. Hey, you, what if, what if, what is this? Okay, you buy a plane ticket to a place in the world, I don't know where. Okay, let's say, um, let's say Thailand, for example. Let's say Thailand. Hey, you, you say, hey, I saw this jungle gym on Instagram. I have all the money in the world, I have all the, you know, the girls, whatever, right? You know, everything sorted but the gym. And so you, the story of how you got there, how you leveled up that skill was that you, bought a plane ticket to a country that you didn't know, but you've seen this jungle gym on Instagram. And so you had to, you can explain the process. How did you get to that jungle gym? Because you wanted to go to that jungle gym to get swole. And then you ended up staying there for a year. You saw incredible progress with your fitness. Now you have a story. Congratulations. That's interesting. People want to hear that, you know? Um, listen. If you have money, I mean, if you have anything, 
like if you have everything in order but you have no experiences that you know is relatable there's no fun in it there's no story there's no questions to be asked then you missed out completely on the point of all this completely most likely if you have all that sorted you probably have some stories and uh, but it just shows the fact that hey if you have money it doesn't matter right if you have just a good body it doesn't really matter because you can still be a geek the fast way to not be a geek is to do something you know head off to thailand head off to fucking north korea who knows right that'd be a fucking have you heard guys heard about that guy who stayed behind when they were ex, uh, you know getting all the foreigners out of afghanistan and this guy stayed behind and he hung out with the taliban he had all, he went and shot ak's with the taliban this guy's interesting and nobody cares how much money he has he doesn't have a good body right all this right but he has a fucking crazy experience you can use that experience this is this you can level that up okay right that doesn't mean that you shouldn't train that doesn't mean you shouldn't get your money in order but it's just shows the power of having that experience because this guy's a you know a freaking legend i think his name is miles um i think it was on tate's podcast or something too and he's done a few interviews and etc um it's it's extremely interesting extremely interesting because it's not something a lot of people do right who the hell does that stays behind and shoot guns with taliban right crazy shit you know um so I, I think you should make this a priority actually getting experiences because hey yeah that's really you know a good point because a lot of these guys these days you know with the matrix and all this stuff oh i want to make money online oh i want to be a loser right and they think that made that making that money oh i make 10k a month oh like, fuck you bro fuck you honestly no one cares you know how petty that is like that, that, how low that is 10k a month that's nothing bro nothing and it doesn't do shit for you okay so what you could do instead right because maybe you're young maybe you're like 18 maybe i mean it's like like it's, there's 14 year olds out here you know stressing about making money are you kidding me there's so much freaking time you can spend four years training you're swollen at 18 you can walk around like a fucking freaking boss right um but you know instead of obsessing over making this 10k a month right I mean that's fair but hey it's not gonna you know make you a g or anything right maybe you can put a cigar in your mouth look cool but hey you're, you're not gonna be interesting no one's gonna give a shit about you okay i don't care how many cigars you put in your mouth at a time you can put two chain smoke them if you want i don't care no one cares but what people will care about is your journey and is it exciting is there something novel is there a question to be asked? Hey, how did you end up on the Siberian railway? How did you end up in inner Dagestan lifting weights, doing high ticket online sales in the middle of Dagestan? Hey, you can actually, this, this is a good, another one, right? Let's say you want to do online high ticket sales, for example. And so you, end, you, you want to do that, you get it sorted, then you go to Dagestan, you go broke, you want to do high ticket sales, and so you have to go to, a, you have to track down an internet cafe in inner Dagestan, right? For example, like funny shit like this, right? You, I can intri I intrigue you just by saying that. So you need something. And I think that the main focus is, should be to uh, leveling up and grinding, like having that as a focus versus having new experiences. I would take experiences any day of the week, but not degeneracy, as I mentioned. Fuck that shit, okay? There's better ways to do it. Better ways to do it, okay? Travel is amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. I think travel, yeah, I would travel. Travel is a great one. Military, also an amazing experience maker. Experience maker, that's a cool word. Experience maker. Military stuff, okay? Combat sports, like fighting. That's an experience maker. I have all of these three checked out, by the way. That's why I'm so fucking cool. Because I have all these checked off. Right? And I also have these fucking cool glasses. How did I get a hold of these? Who knows? Right? Hey. That's why I'm so cool. Okay, but that, you know, that that's not pretty cool. That's not very cool. Saying that they're cool. Isn't that funny? That's pretty funny, right? 
I think that's pretty funny. I think it's quite funny how you say like if you're, you're so fucking cool. Um, but it's like I, I say it because I am right. I have this player. I have all these experiences, and then you have geeks who have no experiences. Maybe they just made some money online. Now they're shoving their face full of cigars and think they're cool. Well, hey, I see straight through you, right? And you know what goes straight through you? My fist and your face. For example, for example, okay? Um, so, those three are really cool. Travel, fighting, and military. That's how you can get some experience. Really, for really, yeah. Think about that. That'd be really cool. That's some, always something people are interested in. That's always something people are interested in. Because there's so many stories that come, come from that. Like in the military, sleeping under, you know, sleeping in puddles and sleeping under a tree, you know, walking through forest in the middle of the night. Um, you know, wiped out on top of a mountain. You can't see anything because of the snow. Um, yeah, that stuff is funny, you know? And it's extreme, right? And there's a lot of questions to be asked because of it. And it's also, but uh, this, is, this is cool too. Like when it comes to like experiences, you mix those experiences, right? With the storytelling. So you learn how to tell the story of it. Uh, and that's what's gonna make it even better, okay? Because now you can, you know, can go and provide that experience to others. And you can, that's what's gonna really gonna make it interesting. Because you wanna make this interesting, you wanna share, right? Hey, I did this, this is cool. Right? Listen to this. This is cool. I did this this way. Amazing, right? So you, by prioritizing experiences, we're not just doing it for ourselves. We're actually able to inspire. Just like I am with these videos. I'm out here living the best life in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm telling you about this. And also like, I'm telling you about the military experience I have through these videos, through the mindset that I've developed through my experiences. So that's what's so beautiful about this. If you prioritize experience, prioritize getting different experiences that can lead to you being able to inspire, to be able to being able to inspire action in others who may, might might want to go down the same path. For example, so that's really something to do if you're thinking that you're ready. You have to lock in and grind all the time. That's you know you know. There's always different approaches i've talked about this in the past mindset approaches hey i can do this because of this I can do this because of that and so the problem with the lock in and grind thing is that hey most people they think of it yeah, hey, i'm gonna be rich i'm gonna be successful you know the best thing about that about all of this like being successful and getting money and all that is to be able to provide that's so that's an approach you can take a much better approach hey i want to help my family out much better approach right and you can do the same with the experiences not just for you you can do this for other, other people, right? Your mom don't want you to be a pussy. And a, you know what a pussy does? He stays home all the time, he stays in his room. He does what he's told all the time. That's what a pussy does, okay? If you're not a pussy, then you would take the Siberian railway into inner Dagestan, you know, drink a beer and get robbed on the train or, you know, take a, you know, book a, book a, book a flight to, I don't know, what's that, what's that, Sentinel Island? <laughs> no, don't go there. Don't go to Sentinel Island, okay? Sentinel Island, this is an uh, island full of cannibals and there's people getting killed because they go there. Don't go there, okay? It's just in the Indian Ocean or something. But hey, there's tons of shit out there to do. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Do you need inspiration to get experience? Does that, do you need motivation to get experiences? I don't think you do really. Um, if you need motivation to get experiences, to gain new experiences, then that shows a complete lack of, you know, uh, desire for what life is. Honestly, if if that lack of motivation to get new experiences is what keeping you locked in and grind on when you're like super young, you're 18, 19 and all that, like, you're sacrificing something very profound. Something that could be worth way more than 
you know, the 2k a month you make making from a fucking being a video editor or whatever. Okay. <laughs> you're sacrificing way more because those experiences are going to carry you through the whole life. Okay. This money, this whatever is not going to do that. It's just numbers on a screen or a piece of paper that you can get, you know, buy fruit from or what the fuck ever you want to buy. Right? Strippers. Who knows? Cocaine. No, don't, don't do that. Don't do either of those. Never, okay? Freudian slip. Perhaps. Who knows? I don't think so. Okay? Um, I will say this, though. That if you're locked in, that's good. I mean, it's good that you're locked in. I want to focus on building the best self, right? That's important, too. But I think also that taking a few breaks here and there and actually experiencing something cool because then you can stay on your path and be like, go back to it and then refocus on the locked in part. So for example, when I was, you know, during my locked in phase of being training and all that, uh, like for summer, I was like at a, at a sailboat. I raced a sailboat from Norway to Denmark one time. That was amazing, an amazing experience. Something I didn't talk about for days, right? Um, so it's not like you have to go choose either or, but it's something like, can I take two weeks off and go for an experience instead of doing like, let's say I'm doing gym and I'm doing gym all the time and I'm seeing good progress and I know exactly what to do. Okay, we'll do that. We're locked in for three months. It's not like we get burnout because we never get burnout. We don't get tired. We don't get tired of developing ourselves. The only ones who get tired of developing themselves are lazy people, okay? And losers. We not, we're not that, okay? Here on this channel, we're not about that. And everyone who you, of you who view my channel are not that, okay? You're very highly productive and you're all going to be very successful people. I swear. So, but it's something like, I don't want to say I should have done more of it. Because I'm in a very good position now, and I think that a lot of the stuff we do happens for a reason, not everything. Um, or what happens to us, you know, happens for a reason, I guess. Um, so, so I wouldn't say that I should have gotten myself more experiences being locked in on the gym and everything. But I think that if you can, you know, find different gaps in time to go out there and really see what's it, what is this all about. Because that, I mean, then that's gonna be. A very good solution. Experiences are absolutely invaluable for the most part, okay? Because they're completely they're completely tied to you. They're completely tied to your subjective reality. And that can't be bought. That can't be um, fabricated. Because you can see who's taking it and who's not. And so that is something truly beautiful. Right, just like anything that you can't buy with money, whatever. Right, and if I mean, if you are a bad person, you will have bad experiences, and so you going out there having good experiences could be could be a reflection of you being a good person. Okay, that will reflect on you. You can reflect that on the world. How beautiful is that? Right, I think so. It's up to you though. Okay. That was a good video, okay? It's like 2 a.m. here in Bangkok. I am absolutely on fire, 2 a.m. I have a call at eight. I'm gonna get six hours of sleep. A few days ago, I got four hours. I don't even care anymore, okay? I'm a black guy. I might, I'm suspecting that the black guy isn't even, you know, me getting hit in the face. It might just be me lack of sleep. I don't even sleep anymore. Okay, maybe I do. Okay, maybe I don't. Who knows, whatever. Take care and God bless, boom!